media language for pride. So let's start with the name pride itself. Um, it has connotations of being proud, of um, this idea of self-reliance, self-belief. It's a very positive kind of inspirational word. But it also has um, sort of ties to this idea of resistance and rebellion um, and kind of like fighting for your cultural identity. So there's, there's an element of edge to it. Um, the masthead of pride is behind the head of Naomi Harris, implying that she is the cover star here she is the most important thing and therefore she is the thing um to sell the magazine she is kind of a star as commodity um strap line across the top says 24 years at the top um at the top of what they don't say but it implies that they are top of their game they are important that they are um successful and by buying the magazine you are buying into that ideology the color scheme of Pride's front cover um, is red and black predominantly. Um, red has connotations of passion, of strength, of uh, kind of urgency and importance and kind of joie de vivre. Um, and black also has this kind of like strong, bold, definite connotations, but it might also tie in with the fact that um, the target audience is women of colour. The pose that Naomi Harris is in is kind of an old photographer's trick, really. She's on um, one side, hand on her hip, which um, lengthens the body in photography um, and therefore makes her look slim, makes her look tall, makes her look all the things that we as women want to aspire to be and therefore positions her as a role model. Um, a number of the cover lines are about body image, um, so tying in with some of the things that I talked about in the previous context video, um, the link to which will be later in this video about um, women being concerned with how they look and the idea of fashion and beauty being a mainstay of women's magazines. However, one of the cover lines is about um, FGM, female genital mutilation. Um, it only refers to it as FGM, implying that they expect their audience will know what that is and positioning them as intellectual, as clever. And it's a bold idea to include something like that in the cover lines because it's quite a controversial topic. Therefore, kind of implying that Pride magazine doesn't shy away from that sort of thing. The main cover line across the body of Naomi Harris um, is Anchorage text to her, Bond and Beyond, implying um, and referring to, sorry, the fact that she played Moneypenny in uh, James Bond. Interestingly, it's probably not her most famous role, um, which is Tia Dharma, um, the voodoo queen from Pirates of the Caribbean, but of course kind of like a dirty voodoo queen with locks um, and so on probably isn't that western ideal that um, the women who are the target audience are going for. It's certainly not very aspirational, it's certainly not very beautiful, whereas the implication of a Bond girl is that you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're resourceful, you're someone you know everyone wants to be and therefore referring to her as a Bond girl um, and harking back to the fact that she was in the Bond franchise uh, kind of communicates that ideology. Troy. Um, this is part two in a three video series. If you would like to see part one context, the link is here. And you want to see part three representation, click here. I've been Mrs. Dixon and this is Dick's Quick Fix.